that you would also encourage our members to understand that session is all year long and that, um, you know, while we are in different cities, if there are people that we um, should interact with, that we would take time to do that as well so that we understand that it's not just what happens during the 60 days, but the other 10 months that also make a difference. So if you could also deploy us in that regard, we'd appreciate it. The only one request that I have, and I'm not sure we've already done this, Rick, is that I know that so often it is important that we only focus on that we focus on leadership. But I know we have members on on, on committees that impact our issues that often don't um, are not touched um, just because we all get so busy and we start kind of focusing on certain issues. So I would also ask that you all would uh, would come up with a method to ensure that at least someone from the Board of Governors has had an opportunity to visit with at least all of the members in the House and our Senate on committees that impact our issues, whether they are in leadership or not, or, or veterans or, or new members, but that we at least let them know we appreciate their service and they're aware of our issues. Um, so I, those are just the kinds of things I'm asking, um, Mr. Chairman, that you would work with as a part of your board. I have a dental appointment, so I'm going to have to get off the call. So I apologize for that, Mr. Chairman, but the first call went on a little bit longer than I anticipated. And um, Mr. Chancellor, what I'll do is I will give you a call after I leave the dentist offices um, um, this morning. Outstanding. Uh, thank you very much. And I, I just get this visual of you and the twins all sitting in the chair together. It's, uh, <laughs> no, it's I'm more. so fortunate that, you know, they were good from 9 to 10 and now the nanny's here so I can get out and go to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, I will speak with you all later this afternoon. Thank uh, you very Bob much. Sir. Well done, <laughs> Chairman. Uh, 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 thank you uh, very much, Governor. Um, I appreciate your, uh, your service on that and commitment to certain issues. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks, Ava. I appreciate it. Frank, um, Mr. Chancellor, do you want to add to what Ava, any yes, sir. Um, charges for us? Uh, I do. First of all, thank you all for agreeing to serve. And I, I concur. I think it is critical that the Board of Governors be um, a, a, a attentive to the legislative agenda 24-7 uh, year-round. It, it is vital. Uh, to that end, as she mentioned, there are probably three phases we're looking at. One, how do we navigate the rest of this session, knowing that uh, even though we are, we're, we're getting to the point where we're about to be, I think, teed up for a very successful session, I'll talk about that more in a minute, uh, that means we've got to mother hen this thing all the way through to signee die, and there, there's still some very important issues that while they're getting into the pipeline, we need to usher through to the end of the process. Then what I uh, foresee, uh, Mr. Chairman, is this uh, uh, committee providing a significant uh, post-session report to the Board of Governors at, um, at our meeting next uh, so that everyone will know exactly what did happen. And, and I think helping to orchestrate that in language that everyone can understand and a format that people can embrace uh, and coming most importantly from from their own members I think is is very important and then as the chairwoman mentioned I think how do we organize ourselves going forward to assure that as she said well we have uh, a face on the Board of Governors for the remainder of the year that of course includes as she mentioned uh, orchestrating our own legislative budget requests uh, our own initiatives uh, but also, how do we interface with members of the House and Senate even while they are in district? And I don't think we've done that uh, as uh, perhaps well as we should. Um, I think we, uh, we really need to make sure that uh, if a senator is in their home district in the off uh, periods of the legislative session, uh, we have Board of Governors members that are geographically located all around the state of Florida who can uh, meet in a more informal setting with them to talk about the issues of the Board of Governors, the issue, uh, issues of our uh, universities and our system, and I think we can accomplish that. That leads us back uh, next year then uh, to the delegation meetings which take place all over the state of Florida. Uh, every delegation meets uh, at least once and oftentimes more prior to the committee meetings taking place which begin in January of each year and at those delegation meetings it's a great opportunity uh, to again strategically have not only people like me and staff but also members of our board of governors attend and speak to the issues of the state university system so um, to the chair's point I think there's a lot of things 
that we can and should be doing legislatively uh, around the clock and around the calendar to make sure that the state university system is always represented in the legislative process. To that end, uh, Mr. Chair, with your uh, approval, um, I think uh, we could probably talk about the now part of this uh, very quickly and just uh, talk about uh, what, what the chairwoman mentioned, which was uh, one issue, trying to see if we can get some of you to Tallahassee. But we don't want to ask you to bounce like ping pong balls. We, we want to make sure that we use your time and your energy strategically uh, so that when we do ask you to come and we do ask you to visit with members, uh, we have it laid out with you and for you uh, so that your time is used efficiently and for uh, the best uh, purposes possible. Uh, I would suggest that, as always, the issues of budget are going to be vital to us. As I mentioned in the, in the original call, uh, of course, there are two budgets, the House and Senate, uh, and that we uh, help get you through Rick um, well attuned to what those budgets look like, what commonalities they share, what differences they have, and how that is looking as we tee up for the conference process, which will typically take place in the second last week of session. No dates have yet been defined for conference meetings to try to bring those uh, budgets together. Uh, likewise, the, um, the conferees have not been named at this point, and that will be important for you to know. Who's going to chair the conference and who are the members of the conference going to be, and we'll get you those as soon as that is announced as well. Um, and then uh, that will give you the information necessary to make a visit uh, if those of you who can do that, or, or phone calls, uh, which are also very important uh, to key members to, uh, to strategically try to support our efforts in the conference process. Another major issue that is obviously making, or will be, making its way through the, the remainder of the session is the uh, <coughs> statutory rewrite. As you all recall, we did the settlement agreement that everyone signed, and that provided a framework of what statutes needed to be amended or repealed in some cases. That work has been ongoing since the uh, signage of the, uh, of the settlement agreement, and we are getting close, it appears, to having final legislation that we can then put into the uh, legislative pipeline. Uh, we're hoping as early as next week uh, to actually begin the process of the legislative rewrite that is going to be necessary uh, to clarify roles and responsibilities. So again, working through Rick, uh, we can educate all of you as to what that rewrite language looks like. We will get you uh, important, uh, uh, not only copies of that, but talking points on that rewrite. Uh, we'll let you know who the sponsors of the bills are going to be in the House and Senate. And that is, uh, of course, vital to us in terms of the organizational side of the state university system as well. So even though there are other important issues out there, and we can certainly let you know what those are, I would suggest, and I'll turn to Rick to see if he has a differing opinion or, or wants to add anything, but that the two issues that are most vital to us right now for the remainder of the session would be that statutory rewrite and would be all issues budget, Mr. Chairman. Rick, do you have anything to add? No, those those are two. Those are the two primary uh, issues. Everything else seems to be going pretty good. Even the things that we typically get upset about during the session aren't happening uh, as they normally do. Uh, let me let me <clears throat> in preparation for this. Um, I'm going to come up there next Wednesday, the 14th, and 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 walk the halls, and 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 it looks like the following. Um, is it the 26th or 26th and 7th or 25th and 6th? Is it Monday and Tuesday? We'll be doing, they'll be in conference. Rick? Well, that Monday, 26th, 7th. Yeah, that Monday and Tuesday, um, the bill will be printed and we won't have an opportunity to impact the bill at that point. Phone calls, though, on the 24th and 25th. Over the weekend? Over the weekend. Because over the weekend, they'll be making final decisions about the budget and doing final amendments. So if we have any issues that we need addressed, that would be the time, uh, the last opportunity to weigh in. Should we be, well, one, if any of you all are available to come up next week, like next Wednesday, we, and we can walk the halls together, I think that'd be great. We need to note, we need to notice it under, um, and post it under the Sunshine Law, but, but you know, there's no big Is that deal. the 21st? 
May uh, the 14th. The 14th. And uh, by yeah, this norm, this norm trip, I'm I'm going to be in California all next week, but I'm okay. available the week after. And then maybe what we ought to do then is come back, Rick. If, if it's too, if, if if the Monday the 26th is too late, should we come back on the on the Thursday or Friday? Yes, that would be perfect. 29th and 30th. Yeah, 20. No. Monday, no. Second, the 20, 23rd. 20, 20, 22nd, 22nd, 23rd. 22nd, 23rd. It'd be perfect. It gets to the conferees right before they start making their final decision. So, so the bottom line is, Mr. Chair, if you and or any other members could be here next Wednesday, that would be good timing as well because it's our hope that by that time the um, statutory rewrite would have dropped into the system and it would give you a chance to visit with the members on both budget and statutory rewrite uh, and then uh, as Rick mentioned and you mentioned that following week on that Thursday and Friday uh, before the weekend conference would be a great time uh, again uh, to uh, give us an idea of what are the last minute issues that could be addressed before they finalize their conference reports. I think there's a lot of merit to many of us walking the halls together Right. And, and because we all have friends from different places, and and I want you know I want all of you to to, to I want to introduce you to the, the legislators from South Florida that I might know that you don't know, and and you all can do the same for for me, and I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I, well, Rick, will you touch base with everybody on the committee and see with their avail availability on, on that, the, that Thursday and Friday, um, and, and I'm available both days. So. I, I'm not available either day. Okay. So we leave, I, we leave. This is Norman Tripp. I'm available that 22nd, 23rd. Maury, are you available at all? I am available on the 21st. I swear, I'm no, then I, right after that, I'm going to California. Yeah, so. I'm available on the 21st also, but not the 22nd, 23rd. And I can, I can come on the 21st. Okay, hold on. Let me go check. Maybe we all go to the twenty-first. Jeez. Um, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to move some around. Yeah, I was doing something. No, I was doing something for FIU that day, but I had to. Yeah, I have to do the the system here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll move them around, and maybe we go up on the twenty first. We go back on the twenty first, all of us, and then um, and and we note and we we put a public notice out. And it, are any of you available next week on the fourteenth? I, I am not. On a trip. I'm not. I'll be in California. Okay, and I'll, and I'll, I'll, I, I need to go talk to some people, um, so I, I'll go. I'll go do that. And um, now, Dean, I'm available the the week of the twenty sixth. That whole week. Well. I, I, I asked Rick, does that help us? Does it help to have you there that, uh, that week, or is it too late? Yeah, that would be too late. The bill will be, okay. be on the desk, and they can't make any changes. It'll be an up-and-down yeah. vote. Yeah, and, and what we can do is put everybody on notice for that week, because even though the budget will probably be on the desk by then, uh, some of this other legislation, uh, for example, the statutory rewrite, may not be finished by then, so uh, as much as we hope it will be. So we'll just put you all kind of on hold right now for that last week uh, in April and see how that goes. But those previous dates, we'll have Rick do two things. One, Mr. Chairman, work with each of you for availability uh, next week as well as that following week, and we'll also begin to get each of you um, updated uh, 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 legislative uh, information uh, so you can do your homework and read up on that as well as ask Rick questions on any of it and we'll also get you the latest budget figures that we have with some side-by-sides that will break it down in terms of the differences between the House and Senate budgets. And we'll do I'm, that. I'm available the 16th also which is that Friday of uh, next week. Okay. Does that sound okay with you Mr. Chair? Um, it sounds perfect. Okay. Uh, that's. I mean, that's all I have for this meeting. Frank, do you have anything more to add? No, sir. As I say, right now our critical uh, period is begun, and we'll go till the end of session. But 
Again, what I hope we can help to orchestrate is a very good end of session review, not just for the Board of Governors members, but for the system. And then we can begin somewhere during that time period to talk about how we want to organize uh, your efforts uh, for the off periods of the yeah. legislative process as well. I think that's going to be vital to us. So we'll, we'll be glad to work with you. And truly, thank you for serving on this one. And, and, the, and, the, and the interim, you know, all you guys, if you give some thoughts to what we can be doing over the next nine months to be ready for the next year, because you all have, you all, you all are all pros at this, and know more about this than I do. Uh, Mr. Chairman, so do I assume that I'm going to, uh, we're going to be there, let's say, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning on the 21st and hitting the, uh, those offices? Um, yeah, I mean, let's say, to be fair to me, because i got to fly up, um, I, I mean, maybe 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, okay, if you're on. If I take a plane at 8, I'll be there at 9.15 or 9.30 and, uh, on the 21st. And okay, we'll, and I'll plan, I'll, I'll be available 21st, Norman trip, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Okay. And I'll, I'll just plan to be up there, Rick. Okay, we'll... Sounds good, guys. If you don't need us, then just let me know what time, you, you know. I'll be there on the 21st. Okay, and I'll be calling each of you to work out the details. Okay, great. So, so from what I understand, um, um, Rick, um, uh, Dean Carlson, myself, and, uh, and uh, Governor Bird, um, and we'll be available at 10 o'clock um, on and just put us to work. Oh, we'll put you to work. Bring your walking shoes. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Really, thank you all very much for your effort. All right, guys. If there's nothing else, um, I'll consider the meeting adjourned. Thanks, Mr. Thank Chair. you. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.